this van like to drive? And I want to apologize if I'm yelling at you. As you uh, obviously can hear, the exhaust is completely blown on this thing, and it is actually so loud that it hurts my ears. So I am wearing earplugs. But, as I was saying, driving this vehicle, now it's a van, so you can't expect it to be like a uh, Lexus LFA or a Jaguar or even a 40-year-old Camaro. It's obviously not going to be an enjoyable vehicle to drive. However, I do have to admit that in terms of slow parking lot driving, this is by far the smoothest car I've ever owned. In fact, it's so smooth that the camera is just sitting on the dashboard right now and isn't actually hooked up into anything. And aside from some small vibration, which could easily be written off as potholes, the camera isn't moving. So at slow speeds, this is an incredibly smooth vehicle. It has a rather dismal turning circle making getting into a parking space next to impossible. But in terms of comfort, at this speed, you barely feel you're driving. You're, you're being borne aloft by a, a group of eunuchs in a throne. However, unfortunately, this vehicle does actually have a rather bad alignment that needs to be repaired. Yet another issue with the vehicle that did not pop up until after I purchased it. Uh, the end result is, although right now, at 20 kilometers an hour, it's undetectable and the vehicle's driving incredibly smooth, once I get up to any kind of speed, the steering wheel starts to jitter about. Even now, at only 45, you can noticeably see the steering wheel is starting to jitter. Now, this baby has 240 horsepower, 200, uh, there you go. This baby has 240 horsepower, 240 pounds of torque, which doesn't sound very impressive, particularly considering that this is a 40, 300 pound vehicle. However, it actually, in comparison to some of my more recent vehicles, which were very slow, it actually feels pretty quick. And given its size, even at slow speeds, you feel like you're going really fast. The zero to 60 time on this vehicle because uh, naturally I had to test it, uh, was 11 seconds flat. And you're probably thinking, that's fucking god-awful. But it didn't catch traction until 80 kilometers an hour. So although it is terrible, you can't really fault the van for it. Because if I was a better driver, I would have caught traction. But the more important thing is... 80 kilometers per hour before I caught traction, that was like a fucking 30-foot burnout. And burnouts are fucking fun. It's my favorite thing. What the fuck is this jerk-off doing? It's my favorite thing about cars. It's your, your favorite thing about cars if you're watching this channel. And being in a 4,300-pound vehicle with... Uh, for the love of God, why are the streets so full? And having 240 pounds of torque, it means that with absolutely no effort, no braking, no parking brake, just by applying the throttle, you can do burns for days. Something is burning after that. And uh, the engine's now whistling. Perfect. Now, naturally, being such a heavy vehicle, it doesn't handle the best. However, I did take it out on Waverly Road, which, if you're a local boy, you know it is probably one of the best roads in Nova Scotia. And... I had fun doing 60 to 70 kilometers an hour on roads uh, that in the Mercedes I could have been doing 80, 90, 110. 
I was still having fun because the vehicle is so top heavy. When you take a hard bend at 70 kilometers an hour, it feels like you're taking it at 140 because you're fucking toppling all over yourself. One thing that I actually, I really genuinely like about driving a van is you have a very high seating position and you feel like you're well above the road. You're in a much larger vehicle, so you're not intimidated by trucks or buses. And because it's so heavy, when you're driving on snow, you're not worried. In a small car, you're kind of sliding all over the place. But because this thing is so fucking heavy, even at hard throttle, it doesn't break traction, and I am in about an inch of snow. Now, unfortunately, this is a van, so the blind spots are pretty fucking horrific. I mean, it does have windows all along the side, which helps, but because of the buildup of dirt and snow over the course of the winter, you can't actually see out of the back window, so you're forced to use your mirrors. And for most drivers that just drive, like your mom who purchased this van to bring you kids to soccer, she doesn't know how to reverse using her mirrors. Heard me. So not being able to see out of the back window is a pretty severe handicap. And on top of that, if you're trying to back into a space, the turning segment... The turning circle on this vehicle is about as tight as my ass after Indian food. So, it's pretty much impossible to fucking back it into a space without, at some point, pulling forwards a little bit to straighten up. The fuel tank on this thing is uh, is over $100 to fill right now, and I think gas is at $1.11 per liter. So, it's, over a, it's a 100 liter tank, obviously, and at 100 liters... You can fucking go pretty much anywhere. Like, that's a lot of fucking gas. And yes, it's expensive to fill, but if you're driving in the city like I am, it's a fucking two-minute drive from my place to work. On 100 liters, I don't have to fill up the car more than fucking, like, once every other two weeks. And that's with driving like a fucking idiot all the damn time. And frankly, I could probably go a month without fucking filling this thing up if I was smart. But I'm not smart. I bought a van for $700 and it has a blown exhaust. I'm not smart. All in all, I actually really like this vehicle. Most people are going to be looking at my car history and think, this is one of the crappiest ones I've owned. It's not cool. It doesn't look fun. It doesn't attract the ladies. It's in terrible condition. I mean, I'm fucking shouting at you over headphones because the fucking exhaust is so blown, it's hurting my ears. But I really love the ride height. I feel like I'm in a truck without fucking running the risk of sliding all over the road in the snow or looking like a giant fucking asshole because I'm in a truck and I think I'm all that. So I really like the ride height. I like how smooth it is at slow speeds. I like how, because it's so large, at low speeds, I feel like I'm going fast, so I'm not... So I'm not always tempted to fucking gun it around like a moron and get a speeding ticket. Something I was very much tempted to do in the Saturn. And on top of that, I love the convenience of owning a van. If I need to move furniture, like as you can see I'm doing right now, I don't need to ask a buddy to come help me out. I don't need to rent a U-Haul. I own a van. I can move it anywhere I want. And I've been delivering furniture all week with this thing, and I'm making some money. That's always good. And, like I said, with the 240 pounds of torque, this vehicle is a fucking tire scorcher. It will do a burnout 
literally by tapping the throttle. In fact, at 70 kilometers per hour, if I fucking punch it, I lose traction and break, I, I break traction and spin the wheels at 70 kilometers per hour. That's fucking awesome. The van also came with a fairly good condition set of Toyo studless winter tires. Now, I am not the most knowledgeable of car people, but I'm pretty sure Toyo tires are actually pretty good, and these are working quite well. And it does have the capability of towing 3,500 pounds. Combine that with a tow hook, I can tow things. I don't actually have anything I would tow, but, I mean, if I wanted to buy a boat, I could actually go out and buy a boat. I wouldn't have to borrow somebody's vehicle to tow it. I could tow it myself. And, actually, a buddy of mine and I were just talking. He was thinking about getting a car that's like an eight-hour drive away. In this van, we could drive to it, and then with a the dolly, tow it back with the van. And that's just, that's a level of fucking convenience. Like, I don't have to, he doesn't have to call CAA. I wouldn't have to call CAA. We can just tow it ourselves. So, all in all, despite this vehicle having an alarming number of problems and a Kia just destroying me off the line, uh, I love it. Okay, maybe I don't love it. I really like it. I really wish that it was a better quality vehicle. I wish the exhaust wasn't blown. I wish the heat... Oh, hey, the heat actually is starting to work right now. I, I wish the exhaust wasn't blown. I wish that all the traction control and shit would work properly so I wasn't constantly worried. I wish this was a better fucking vehicle because I fucking love driving a van. So much, in fact, that I was actually very... Uh, when I had to move and I rented a U-Haul, I fucking loved driving the U-Haul van. So I really wanted a van. So, I was kind of excited when I got this. I really enjoyed driving it. So, it was a pretty big disappointment when it started breaking right away. And it's starting to break so much that I really have to consider the reality. I'm not going to own this van for the duration of the MVI. I'm pretty much going to patch up the exhaust as best I can and sell it to somebody, hopefully getting my money back. And on top of that, yes, this van only costs $700. But, because it's only 10 years old, I had to pay out the ass for tax. I paid $700 for this van, but the government decided this van is worth $1,400, which meant I spent $230 on taxes, making this a $930 van. Well, fuck you very much, Trudeau. Wow, blow that red light, why don't you, you fucking prick. But I do have to admit that this proves you can in fact buy a you can in fact buy a van now oh, fuck it, I'm doing this. You can in fact buy a van for uh, under seven hundred and fifty dollars. You can. But I'm gonna have to say you really should whoa whoa. Maybe I shouldn't be holding the camera because I just lost traction like really bad there and banged into a curb. Ha. Uh but yeah, so you can actually buy a van for under $750, but I'm going to have to tell you, you really shouldn't. Yes, it has a fully functioning parking brake, so I'm going to hoon the fuck out of this thing for a few months before either I'm able to sell it or it breaks down completely, the same as I did with the Saturn. It's currently sitting on the street because the brakes failed and I'm not fucking paying to fix them. Uh, but in terms of a sensible vehicle, I think we failed. Uh, this car just has so many mechanical problems, you can't in any way call it sensible. And, I just lost traction in this amount of snow and slid into a curb. So, I can't exactly call this a good winter vehicle either. Uh, I do realize that this video was a little bit rambly, uh, and I apologize for that. I was hoping to do some fancy editing, but it's fucking freezing cold because I don't have heat. Uh, so I'm kind of hurrying it up.
I want to thank you guys very much for watching. And uh, it is Christmas Day, so I'm about to go and do a little bit of hooning uh, for you guys. So uh, look forward to that.